All right, so hello everybody. We are, um, we are, it's at 735 on Monday night. And if you're joining by video, you can probably see that I look a little rough. And if you're watching the replay, you can see that I look a little rough. <laughs> we um, had our air go out last night and it's still like 85 degrees here in Florida. And the humidity is unrelenting. So actually debated not doing this today because I feel like I could just pass out. I'm so tired. <laughs> So, but no, I decided, no, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, so, um, let's see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And I know some of you are um, joining by phone, and that's okay. You can either um, watch the video later, or I've got stuff like, oh my chest. So, you can watch the video later, or you can pop in um, on the Zoom link if you want to. It's up you. I will go over the information that's on the slide, so whatever works best for you. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. And then we'll just tap over to the slideshow. Okay, so this is our late September meeting, and um, so actually, you guys, I got to tell you, we got to keep a secret for 24 hours. Um, there is one thing I'm, I'm going to tell you that's going to be go live on the Facebook or on the Pamper Jeff page tomorrow. But um, since we do our meetings at the end of the month, we kind of follow up with the October um, theme and the October team meeting. So you're kind of lucky to get in on that. So, all right. Um, so what we're going to do is start with, and I wanted to make sure, um, just so you guys know, I do have notes here, I don't know if you can see, um, for each slide. So when I look down, that's actually what I'm looking at. Um, but uh, the first thing that actually Pamper Chef wants us to make sure that you guys know about is the monthly focus. And I don't know if y'all are looking at this, like it comes out they update it every week, which is just kind of a thing that's kind of grown, and I'm really excited about it because um, they had changed a lot of the way they ways they communicate with us, and I really love that they focus so much on this weekly, monthly focus to get information out to us. So this is basically your go-to resource. Um, it's designed just for consultants, not even for leaders. Um, but it's your one-stop shop each month, and they update it each week. Um, so it has tips on booking and selling and recruiting and the resources you'll need to find even more success in those areas. So um, there's seasonally focused tips that are to help you book, sell, and recruit. Um, there's videos. There's um, it's, it's basically information coming from the field. So it um, even tells you a little bit about party, party themes or other resources that are available for you right now. So how do you get there? log on to it's actually very very simple and before i start this whole slideshow i'm going to show you right here okay you're going to go to consultants corner and log in and look it's right here right here in the middle you just click on it view now and it takes you to the monthly focus um, and so every week it has all this stuff on here but every week you have a weekly action plan that helps you for the week all right so good news for you okay it makes it super easy um anyway so hopefully that's going to help you get started all right so the first thing we're going to start off with we're going to kick off with is some welcome and introductions okay and so this month so far um since our last meeting actually we've had three new consultants join our team so help me to welcome shelly price Shelly, I think Shelly's actually on here um, and via phone, and Shelly is joining us from um, Milton, Florida, which is just about 30 minutes away from me, and Bev Patterson, uh, Bev is, um, Bev's at work tonight, she's a hospice nurse, so go Bev, um, and she is, um, she, I've actually known her for a very long time. I met her when I, she was in my Bible study or my Sunday school group when I lived here in Florida before, and we've reconnected since I've been here. But um, she lives here in Florida also. She lives in Gulf Breeze, which is about 20 minutes from me. And then our newest consultant, our newest terrific team member is Taylor Inman. And Taylor lives in Chicago, like 
in the city of Chicago. So that's super exciting. And I have Taylor's on here as well. So, um, so welcome to all three of you guys. And I'm so excited to have our team growing like this. It's fantastic. So, all right. So um, now we're going to do some team updates. So um, this is based on August sales. Okay, so I realize we're at the end of September, but we're going to base on August sales and just kind of shout out a little bit. So our team as a whole so, sold $5,000 last month, $5,038 last month. So um, normally I would, you know, our goal is a little bit higher, but I have to shout out because um, last month we were up 40% over 2017 in August. So way to go. Um, last year we were, I was moving and sometimes when I'm moving, you know, and other people are moving and things are going crazy, really, really safe, but we don't do so much. So last month, um, everybody pulled it out. We had four new recruits last month, which was actually a 300% over 2017. And I haven't always included those stats from the prior year in there, but when I was looking, I just thought, man, that's pretty good, pretty much some good news. So I wanna just, I always like to share good news, you know? All right, monthly top performers last month. So our number one seller last month was Janet Cook with $1,678. So way to go, Janet. Janet actually lives in Milton also, and she did this in one party. This was her grand opening party, which happened to be a bridal shower. So um, so anyway, so way to go, Janet. And then Tierra. Peter also had $1,363, and Tira was traveling. She went to conference, so good job, Tira. Um, top recruiters, Tira had two recruits. So when we came back from conference, we had a um, golden ticket, a free kit to give away, and with the excitement of uh, the free kit, um, it was it was really great for Tira and I both. We were able to you know get out there and share the opportunity, and um, have lots of people. Uh, we each had two join our team, so way to go, Tira. Um, good job, Tira's working on making her direct course directorship. So very good. Um, top shows over six hundred dollars. Janet had her sixteen hundred dollars show. Tira had a six hundred and twenty dollars show, and Tira had the most shows with three parties. So way to go, you guys. Okay, so green by 15, every single month we do a drawing, and this is for September. So every single month we do a drawing. If you're green by 15, um, you get to go into the drawing. And so these are our four consultants that were green by the 15th of the month. Jamie Matthews, she had over $500, so she's gonna get a little goodie in the mail. Chaka Thompson, um, who's out of Italy, um, she actually won our drawing. Karen Reed is in the Marshall Islands, out way out in the Pacific. And then Valerie Barnes is here in Destin, um, Florida. So way to go, you guys. Now, I have to tell you, I think we're going to talk about this later. Um, I'm probably going to blow it. I'll probably share something I'm supposed to share later. But next month, I think this is probably one of the things you have to keep, you're supposed to keep secret because we're going to announce it tomorrow. But next month, they the Pampered Chef is doing a $500 green by 15 basic uh, little promotion. So when you submit $500 by the 15th of October, then you're going to get a little goodie for free. And we'll talk about that more later. So always good to be green by 15. So just so you guys know, I was out there cooking and booking with you at $750 in sales this month. No proud. That's like, you guys know, I normally sell a lot more. We just had one party, something, I don't know what was going on in August. So, um, but we're back. Back to normal stats this month in September. Um, but what I do want you to pay attention to is even with just $750 in sales, paid as a consultant $180, paid as a director $411. That's a difference of $231. Doesn't quite pay the college bills, but <laughs> we're, we're, that's why we're kicking it this month. So, all right. So we've got some team updates for you guys. I updated the team calendar. Um, I updated the team calendar, and so that link is right there. Um, you can access the team calendar directly from um, directly from the, uh, the directly from the Facebook page if you want to. Um, and uh, it is um, it's always it's always going to be updated. Okay, so um, every time I update it, you're going to have the latest one. Um, and uh, and so that's so that's going out there. Um, there are there is one uh, big update on there, which I actually don't have on the slide. I have on another slide. Is December third? Um, our meeting um, is going to be that's going to be our December meeting. We're not going to have a November meeting because 
the end of the month is Thanksgiving. So we'll just push it to December 3rd. And that's actually going to be what we used to call National Meeting Day. And so, um, and so um, what we're going to do is talk about the trip. Okay. So again, we'll touch on that a little bit later. Um, six Weeks to Success is continuing. If you have not watched the first two, you can definitely join in. Um, that's going to be going on. We've got our opportunity event the second Monday. Um, all of this is on the team calendar. But I did want to talk about our team goals. So every um, every month we have team goals, and so we want to have 100% activity. And so now I'm going to have to caveat this with I know there are more than four active, but Pamper Chef's doing some updates, and I couldn't get most updated stats. Um, right now and um, I couldn't get most updated stats right now. So this is what I have as of last Friday Okay, so my apologies. I will update this tomorrow when the um, when everything goes back live I'll just do a little meme and post it on our team page. Um, so currently we have four out of 27 um, Which I think we actually have more than 27 on our team um, uh, 6,000 team sales our current sales are 2200 that doesn't include my sales um, and so we're $3,800 away and we've got three new team members, which we have three new team members, but these, these stats don't include my, my stuff in there. So otherwise we'd already be rocking and socking towards our goal. Actually, our goal would be a little higher if we included my stuff. All right, so mark your calendars. December 3rd is the big meeting announcement. We already know that our next incentive is gonna be to Disney and we'll be learning more about dates, how to earn, all of that good stuff. So, but I want you to mark your calendar for December 3rd. The other thing I want you to mark your calendar for, which I'm going to be creating an event for really soon, is our national conference next year in July. And so national conference is amazing. You don't want to miss it. It's so much fun. And I was listening to a podcast. You know, Pamper Chef does a podcast called Tips from the Top, and you should actually listen to it. The last one that they did actually interviewed was interviewed with a whole bunch of people at conference, and I loved how the gal that was doing it like she was so amazed that all of the consultants said one of their favorite things about conference was reconnecting and the connections that they made with the other consultants there. Um, it is about training. It is about learning, seeing the new products. It is about all that stuff. But really, we love relationships and we love getting to um, have that time with our team. And, you know, as you guys have probably heard me say, I've known Tierra for five years now, but we got to actually meet in person in August of this year. And so that was really great. So, all right. So Tierra, if you want to chime in and let everybody know about why they need to go to conference, feel free to unmute and chime in. All right. So we have one week left in September. One week. Okay. And I'm so excited because a week is full of possibilities. We have the 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, six days left, full of possibility. Um, you can add to your, you can add to your sales, you can um, enjoy more, I mean, there's so many things that you can do to add to this month, okay? So, first of all, congrats to Jamie Matthews for earning the new little basket there. It's not a basket. It's a game day insulated tote. <laughs> um, but Jamie's already got that. Um, I got a note from Pampered Chef, or I got a note from FedEx saying that a package is on my way that weighs about half a pound. I'm going to go, I'm going to guess that that's what it is coming my direction. Can't wait to have this to take to the beach or whatever. So, um, or to the soccer field. I don't go to any of that stuff anymore. Soccer field, baseball field, any of that stuff anymore, but I do go to the beach. So, um, this is going to be a great one. $750 in commissionable sales. If you're already there, you can do this. If you are a brand new consultant, you're not a director, which is all of you guys, only two shows. You only need to have two shows. So what constitutes a show? That's $200 in sales. So um, if you're out there collecting, uh, Taylor was telling me about how she um, kind of put something out to her uh, friends and family. and um, had a, uh, uh, offered the, let me think, she offered the um, pairing knives, and um, she did a little post about it, offered the pairing knives, maybe she'll post it on our team page and share with us, but um, 
uh, what she posted, but she posted that out there and had people order it. She sold 19 sets, okay? So that's just shy of $150. So you could sell um, some more sets, maybe 25, 26 sets. I, okay, I'm not doing math, you guys, so you guys can figure it out. $7.50, $7.50, okay? So 200 divided by $7.50. Um, go ahead and make that your challenge, make that your goal. That's a whole show right there, okay? You have the time right now. You could do your own kickoff party for the fall season start it tomorrow close it out on saturday boom there's your second party it can totally totally be done you can be inspired tonight and have your two parties to turn in by the end of the month earn yourself a game day coat okay so super exciting are you guys excited do you like that is that cool so i would love to have some more people on our team earn that all right also, for September promotions, just so you guys know, of course, like I said, it's not too late. Tea is probably not the best thing to drink. It's gonna keep me awake all night. <laughs> um, but um, September host special, pick anything 60% off. You guys, did you know that if you host a party, you can get the quick cooker with the accessory set for $114. All you need is $200 in sales. That is better than you can get it as a consultant, okay? So that's a really great deal. Also, if you, um, you can put like, oh, I lost my train of thought. Also, you can, I'm so hot, you guys. <laughs> keep my brain together. Um, also, you can, basically you can share this you can encourage people who either want the quick cooker, want the grill pan, want the cookware set, want whatever, you know, pick some things out and say, oh my gosh, this is only this much, okay? A $200 item is only going to be $80, okay? It's $40 on the $100 for um, when things are 60% off. So if something costs $100, it only is going to cost the, the um post $40 when something is 60% off. So this is anything. It can be something big. It can be something small. But it's a great reason, reason to gather some orders this month. If you know somebody who works in a school, works in a hospital, works somewhere where there's like lots of people, pass some books around, see if they can gather some orders, okay? Um, this is just a great program, a great thing to offer. Now, how is that going to happen? How are you going to make that happen for this month? You're going to have to send some private messages. You're going to have to pick up the phone and call people like this, okay? Um, it's going to happen, okay? Or you put your headset on and call them. But um, calling people is how you're going to make this happen. So if you want that game day tote, you want to get back on the saddle for the month of um, September, there's plenty of time. You've got six days, okay? Um, and you can't really see the scrapers, but there's three scrapers that you get um, to choose from with the special. All right. So now I want to take a minute and share some news from the home office. Now, mind you, we're kind of moving into October now. So we're going to talk a little bit about October. Hopefully you feel inspired to, um, to take advantage of the last six days of the month and really boost your business. Um, but now we're going to talk about October. How many of you guys knew that October is Pampered Chef's birthday? Did you guys know that? You're all muted. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> you knew that? Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so uh, Shelly, did you know that? No. Okay, so now you guys know Pampered Chef's birthday is in October. Um, so October 15th is Pampered Chef's birthday. So um, the first cooking party in the history of Pampered Chef was held on October 15th, 1980. Okay, and um, and so what, what Pampered Chef challenged us to do is to host a party on October 15th. Now, I do know that on October 15th, it's a Monday. We actually have a six weeks to success planned. So it's a Monday day training, Monday training day. Um, so um, that we can work around that, but um, hosting a party, you can start a virtual party that day and host a, uh, host a party that night. I'll give you a pass that night. You can watch the video if you're doing the six weeks to success. But Monday, October 15th is a great day to host a party. Um, if you uh, talk with some of your friends who are great fans of Pampered Chef, and I'm gonna read you guys a quick book. Since a whole month of October is Heritage Month, I'm gonna read you a little excerpt 
out of Doris's book, okay? So this is probably, y'all are probably gonna think this is really cheesy, but I'm gonna read you a little excerpt that talks about the, that night and when she went to her first party. So it's called, It's a Long Ride to the First Show. So my inventory was in and thanks to Jay, neatly organized in our basement. For weeks I had been experimenting with different kitchen tools while preparing our meals so that I'd have firsthand experience with my line of products. Several months earlier, I had confided my plan to sell kitchen tools to Ruth and Ken Niehaus, our, long our longtime church friends. When Ruth asked how I planned to do it, I explained that it would be like a Tupperware party, but with lots of different twists. And Ruth said, I've seen you in the kitchen, so I know you'll be good at it. I'd like to be there for your first demonstration. That's great, Ruth. You're such a good friend, I answered. Say, would you consider having some people come to your house for, your, for, a, for uh, my first show? Absolutely, she replied. Just let me know when you're ready to do it. I thanked her and we set a date for mid-September. But a couple of weeks before the show, I had to call Ruth to say I wasn't quite ready. How's October 15th instead? I asked. I assured her I would be ready by then. With a deadline to meet, I began to work on a presentation to sell my wares. I printed on three by five note cards and practiced on Jay and the girls. When I didn't have a live audience, I spoke to myself in front of a mirror and even set up crates that I had set, I, and even to the crates that I had set up in my living room. Despite my rehearsals, I confessed to Jay that I was still scared to death. I'm sure that we can all relate, right? And he said, pretend that you're teaching at school or in front of a meeting. You never have a fear of speaking in a classroom setting. This is the same thing. You'll be terrific, he assured me. What if they ask questions? What could anyone possibly ask that you don't know? Don't worry about it, it's a piece of cake. A few days later, I told Jay, you know, it's time to call Ruth and confirm the show, but I need more time. There's plenty of time for you to be ready, he said, but the price list needs work. I'll take care of it, he said. My husband countered down on every excuse and there was no way he was gonna let me back down. A few days before October 15th, I tried once more to tell Jay that I'd have to call Ruth to cancel, and I still remember his firm voice. Doris, you have a commitment. Besides, we've got $3,000 of inventory in our basin, and it can't just sit there. You have to sell it. So we sat down at our dinner table on October 15th, 1980, as we always did. But this time, it was different, because after we finished, Jay said he'd do the dishes while I went off to work. He helped load my Plymouth Valari, cramming six crates of products into it. It was cold and rainy, the kind of night I would have loved to stay home, curled up in a bed with a good book. You'll do just fine, he reassured me. Drive carefully. Ruth Niehaus lived about 10 miles from us in Elmhurst, and I, I had planned to use the driving time to go over my mind one last time what I intended to say. Suddenly, it struck me. It was so time. What am I doing, I thought to myself. What have I gotten myself into? What made me think this would work? I must have been out of my mind. Now, can anybody relate to that? Yeah. <laughs> can you guys, I mean, I know I can relate to that. It was raining cats and dogs, and traffic moved at a snail's pace. What a miserable night, I said out loud. How fitting. I must have been deluding myself over the past month. Boy, I've had some foolish ideas in the past, but this tops them all. What? This is the worst idea I ever concocted. How can I get myself out of this? As I drove nearer to Ruth's house, as I drove nearer to Ruth's house, I thought I could pull over and call her to cancel the show. No, nope, that wouldn't be right. Ruth had invited her friends and her neighbors. She's expecting me. I have to do this. <clears throat> I lost my place. <laughs> Um, so even as I pulled in her driveway, I thought, I may do this once, but I'll never do it again. Somehow I'll manage to get through this thing. And I kept visualizing myself as finished. The thought never occurred to me that I had enough inventory to fill 40 more crates in my basement. I wasn't even worried about the $3,000 $3, I had put into it. All I wanted was to get through the next couple of hours and be done with it forever. When I rang the doorbell, Ruth gave me a big welcome. Scott will help you carry everything in. No, it's my job, I said, I'll do it. Why would I make things any worse by having her teenage son mad at me? We're gonna do this in the basement family room, she said. The basement stairs were so narrow that I had to maneuver sideways to carry each of those heavy crates. Six trips back and forth to my car later, I was drenched. Some of the women were already downstairs and with my back toward them, I set up for this show. 
I didn't want to see anyone's face. I'll just do this one time and get it over with, I promised myself. When everything was set up, I turned around to see a room full of women eagerly waiting to hear my story. I love this as I read this today, as I reread this today, because she said so many things that I could relate with. And frankly, I'm so glad that she didn't turn her car around, that she didn't call her friend to cancel, that she pushed through all the anxiety and the feelings. And here we are today, 38 years later. Okay, almost 38 years later. So thank you, to Doris. Um, Heritage Month is the perfect time to celebrate the company's founding beliefs and philanthropy efforts. So the first thing that we recommend is that you party with a purpose. Book fundraiser parties that support our three charitable programs available to you this fall. Round Up From the Heart, Help With Cancer, and The Classroom Kitchen, okay? I will tell you, practice saying classroom kitchen before you start talking about it because it's kind of a mouthful. Number two, sell with a purpose. Tell customers about the products that they can buy this month to give back, including the kitchen pair of knives and the pink Help With Cancer products, okay? These are the things that you can do. You can um, do a special gather orders on your page um, where you can put it together in as one, as one big show. Okay? Share stories with a purpose. How many times have you heard tell Doris tell the story of her first party and thought about how you can relate? So for probably most of you, it was the first time you heard that night. Um, she was nervous and excited, but she believed in the business and how she could change lives for the better. During Heritage Month, share your story. Talk about your first party. Talk about your first recruit. Talk about your first moment you realize that this business is about more than selling cooking tools and that it's about changing lives. That's what we want to focus on this month. Um, at the first of the month, there will be a link to a video um, by Doris, so you can um, hear it from her telling the story of her first party, okay? And I'm sure that'll be on the monthly focus. All right. Um, Oops, I didn't finish. <laughs> um, so let's see. Um, another thing you can talk about is your favorite products or maybe some of the Pamper Chef favorites. Did you guys know that our cooking stones have been used at every, have been in every catalog and were what she used at that very, very first party, okay? So we have a long heritage here. And throughout October, Home Office is gonna be sharing social posts, website content, and emails that reference Heritage Month and highlight our fundraising programs, our longtime favorite products, and the impact the company has had on people and their community in the past 38 years. And this is the perfect time for you to share that content with your customers. Um, one of the things that I would suggest is as you're sharing Pampered Chef's content, um, you can copy the, um, say you can download the image and then make sure that when you share it, um, you kind of make it a little bit personal, but also make sure you share your link. Okay, because you don't want people to be clicking on the Pamper Chefs link and then going into the pool of um, orders or things that people are clicking there. So um, in the weekly stir, every week they do tell us what the um, marketing plan is for the week. And so you can look at it there. So this, I'm going to actually screenshot this um, image. I'm going to save this slide and I'll put it on our team page. This is a lot of information, but this is great to know for our holiday shipping schedule. Um, this has to do with Hanukkah and Christmas. And I know last year they let us know um, for uh, Thanksgiving as well. So, oh, there it is right there on the side right there, Thanksgiving shipping deadline as well. So this is something you want to have for reference. You can print it out. You can put it in a, um, in a file to take to your um, shows. But this is just something to remember. But I will tell you this. So a lot of times when you look at parties, that everything needs to be submitted by December 17th in order to make it by Christmas. Um, and I, I always work my business the first two weeks of December, and then I kind of um, take a break the second two weeks of December. But the last couple of years, I've actually continued to do some things, gather some individual orders, um, have something special, maybe a sale or something like that, going on the week after Christmas, um, just to keep my customers, my friends, my family engaged, um, and not forget, people have very short memories. So you wanna, you don't wanna close your doors, um, and lots of people um, might not see people till the week after Christmas. So they might not have to get that same deadline. So that's something to keep in mind as well, okay? Another little tidbit of information to share is the Express Party Checkout. 
So the Express Party Checkout is going to get an upgrade. And, you know, I love it because Home Office is always, 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 like they're just in constant state of motion improving. And so it came out with the Electronic Party Checkout. And if you don't know how to use the Electronic Party Checkout, you can always go. There's actually a link under Training and Resources that, that you can go to, and it has a little training on how to use it, words to say, the whole nine. Um, but these are just some of the improvements. And so it's interesting because at some parties, um, I have everybody want to use it. And at other parties, I don't have anybody want to use it. So it just kind of depends on your group. And I'll tell you, if you can get one person to use it, then the other people kind of jump in. So um, I love Laura's uh, little words right here where she said, um, I explained to Express Party Checkout ordering tonight and stated that I'll need to see everyone to final up their order. And at that time, I'll also show them the outlet choices. Then at the full service checkout, I had the outlet pulled up on my phone and each guest scrolled through adding about $80 to bump up my host to $1,200. Worked like a charm. How cool is that? Okay. Uh, just a tip. You can always tell them that they can just type in outlet in the um, search area and all of the outlet items will actually come up. So that's a great way. Um, kind of do it as an aside, an afterthought, because um, you want them to buy out of the catalog, and then the outlet can just be an add-on. All right. So does anybody have any questions about that? Have you guys used the um, Express Party Checkout before? I think everybody that's still on here is kind of new, so probably not. <laughs> okay. So Tara had to get off. So I'm glad that I got to recognize her before she had to get off. So. She has homework tonight, so. All right, okay, so three key areas to a successful October. Booking, selling, and recruiting. So October 1st, we're gonna have a new recruiting promotion. We never find that out until the beginning. Um, if you were around last month, it was so exciting because all of a sudden it was this thing that was really really new with the new um tw with the 29 dollar kit and the quick cooker um just something really unexpected so we just never know what they're going to offer as far as that's concerned okay um so we'll share well, we'll share lots of tips for your october calendar with bookings maximizing your sales new products and tailoring your recruiting message so that they make an impact Okay, so we're going to start with booking. So booking, a party is where it all happens. Customers will appreciate being asked to a party. They benefit from great rewards, learning about new mealtime solutions, and sharing a fun time with their friends. Parties are where you meet new customers. They're where you provide solutions and sell products, and they're where you share the opportunity and the, with the hosts and the guests. And they're where you book more parties. So you always want to aim for two, one to replace the one that you're doing, and then one to grow. So let's talk about ways to get bookings now. All right. So starting in October, um, we're going to have two new themes. And Marta Ross is going to be putting out a training video on how to get bookings during the holidays. Okay. And I'll tell you where to find that in a minute. It's not going to be out till October 1st. You got a whole week. So I'm just prepping you guys. Um, so two new party themes that we're going to be booking with. So you're going to want to add these to your menu of party themes options. Um, meet your customers by needs by offering them ideas, eating great recipes, and having fun throughout the holidays. Um, brunch and bevs is going to be a super fun, um, a super fun one. And um, and then sips and apps. I think I would call this sips and dips, even though it says sips and apps. I think I might call it sips and dips because it sounds better. So, um, but offering theme shows is a great way to get people excited about hosting, okay? So, you can, um, so I don't have the video to show you guys yet. So, when the video comes out with Marna Ross, it'll be in the monthly focus, okay? And um, it'll be in the monthly focus starting October 1st. And I want you to go and watch it. First of all, Marna is hilarious. She's engaging. She's an executive director, and you will really enjoy listening to whatever her perspective is. Okay. Second of all, she has great ideas. Okay. And ideas that you can apply right away um, and words that you'll be able to use to book those parties. So, um, so when you're offering party themes, what you're doing is you're selling the experience that other people want. Okay. Um, so you ask questions like, who do you know that needs help with holiday entertaining? 
okay? Um, who do you know that's hosting a holiday event and needs the right tools and the right recipe ideas, okay? Um, who do you know that needs help with gift giving ideas or budget friendly gifts? Or who do you know that needs to eat dinner? That would be lots of us that know people. Who do you know that needs dinner done quickly? Who do you know that wants to stop doing fast foods? Who do you know who wants a fun night out and provides samples to eat, okay? These are some questions that you would ask to generate their brains and get their brains thinking about why they might wanna have a party. You can, do that. You can offer a quick fix dinners theme to, um, to help people who wanna get out of the drive-through. You can offer a, um, a, sips, uh, a sips and apps or a brunch and bevs to somebody who wants to have a holiday party um, during the holiday season. A pizza party theme is so perfect for back to school, okay, and getting that fun cooking experience, okay? So um, fundraisers are also a type of party that you can offer. Consumers who would never think of hosting their own party are open to helping a cause. Ask questions like, who do you know who's been affected by breast cancer? Or who, do you know a teacher whose classroom could use some extra funds to help kids? They both can help and benefit by hosting either a help with cancer or a kitchen classroom, classroom kitchen fundraiser. Okay, so I'm gonna take a minute right now and I'm gonna play this video for you um, on the classroom kitchen campaign. So you can kind of understand that. I hope you can hear it.
All right, so hopefully that kind of is exciting to you. I'm really excited about this program. Um, some tips that I've heard is that to not necessarily go through the school. Um, sometimes when you're going through a school, it takes a lot of, a lot of, you know, prop paperwork and talking and committees and blah, blah, and all that stuff. So the best thing to do is actually go through a parent. Hey, who has a kid that goes to school and you have a favorite teacher you'd like to support? Because a parent can do a fundraiser or some parents are, can do a fundraiser or PTO can do a fundraiser and they don't need all the special permission that a, um, that a school needs. Likewise with scouts, they do a lot of things with scouts, but I will tell you, scouts, like right now, it's um, it's popcorn season for the Boy Scouts, and it's, uh, I think it's nut season for the Girl Scouts, and so councils don't want them to do anything besides those particular fundraisers, so that's where you might get a parent involved, and then you can do the fundraiser, and the, the scouts can still get the benefit. You designate that scout troop as the beneficiary of the, um, of the fundraiser, and then you do it that way. So hopefully that, kind of, and then it comes in as a donation, it's a little bit different. So hopefully I gives you guys some ideas. There's also, um, you can find out more about our Help With Cancer program um, to raise money and awareness for our Help With Cancer program. We actually do fundraisers just for Help With Cancer as well. So this is really exciting, okay? All right, so now we're gonna move on to selling, okay? So for selling, you want to, we're going to talk a little bit about tips and tricks um, that you can share with your guests um, that provide, that not only provide solutions, but value added to, um, or added value to a party. Um, so a tips or, okay, let me rephrase that. A tip or a trick, is, a sharing tips and tricks with guests not only provides solutions and added value to a party, but it also sells products. And the more you sell, the more you earn. So sharing products with others, whether you're at an in-person party or an online party, means that you're enriching lives, one meal and one memory at a time. Okay, so here's the little secret. Don't tell anybody, because it's gonna be on the website tomorrow, okay? So they're going to announce, Pamper Jeff's gonna announce a new product on October 15th, or launching a new product on um, October 15th. So this is a totally on-trend product, okay? Um, it's going to be the PC metal straws. Consultants can start selling them starting October 15th. And this product makes a perfect add-on sale to every order and um, suggests to customers they pick up a few extras for everybody in the family. Makes a great stocking stuffer as well. So you can watch your guest sales grow with this must-have product. And guess what? You can earn the metal straws um, yourself when you submit $500 in commissionable sales um, that have been held and submitted for between October 1st and the 15th. So if you have September parties that carry over, that doesn't count. They need to be October held and submitted from the 1st to the 15th, okay? So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, there'll be more information about these straws actually, but um, I, I know here um, at uh, here at the beach, we have a huge, um, a huge campaign to stop using plastic straws. It's bad for the environment. It's bad for the wildlife. Um, and so reusable straws is great. I know people, I personally know people who take straws to restaurants. Okay, that's why there's carrying case. <laughs> so um, it's a thing, okay? All right, so the other thing that we're doing in October is um, going pink. So we can go pink to raise awareness and funds for breast cancer education and early detection programs. Pink products make great stocking stuffers, hostess gifts, um, when not for your hostess, but when you're invited to somebody's house for the holiday. Um, and encourage every woman to place a pink Twixit clip on their shower curtain to remind them, or on their little scrubby, to remind them to do their monthly breast exam. Okay, um, so we'll have some things available on the outlet. The pink whipped cream maker is fantastic. I always use it every time I'm doing a demo and people always want to know about it. Okay, so you get the pink and white Twixit clips and the pink whipped cream, cream maker. And then of course, on the outlet, we'll have some limited time items, the stencils, the cake server, and the little um, cake custard. Okay. 
All right, next is we'll be prepping for October or for holiday sales. October is one of the biggest months of the whole year because the holiday season is coming. And you know the holidays, they last for months. I mean, we start with pumpkin spice everything right now, right? Um, so the holidays are coming. Remember, um, there's two new party themes, okay? And so you're gonna wanna talk about those. Um, I already had somebody ask me if I could do a holiday baking party. And she was like, oh wait, you don't bake. I said, well, I can do a cookie party. And she was like, okay, let's do a cooking party. So we're gonna schedule a cooking party in December with cookies. She's like, I wanna do it like a make and take. I said, I have an outline for that. So <laughs> I hope I have out, I'm pretty sure I have an outline for that. Um, Cause since I said I would do it, otherwise I guess I'll find one, right? Um, holiday season is exciting to consumers when you promote that Pampered Chef has solutions for gift giving, for entertaining, for baking, for baking gift ideas. Now is the time that you want to start promoting all of those baking gift ideas. Um, we have this whole set of baking, like a mini baking set where you can sell for $50. That's a $50 item. People are going to need them right now. Um, because they start giving away their gifts um, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, okay? So gift sets that you can feature, though, that make great gifts, make great addition to the, um, the pantry themselves, is the popcorn gift set, the pizza gift set, the ice cream gift set, and the wine and cheese gift set. Hello, wine and cheese gift set, okay? So I think I'm uh, actually not super familiar with the new gift sets, so, okay. Um, all right, so let's see. Hold on one second. Okay, so um, let's see. The next, the next thing, holiday sales start in October. So I talked to you a little bit about that. Holiday season is exciting to come is exciting to consumers when you promote that Pampered Chef has solutions for gift giving, entertaining, baking, and gift ideas. So I talked to you a little bit about that. Um, the emoji cookie cutters are huge right now. Those Halloween cookie cutters, um, the scoop loop for carving pumpkins, the brownie pan. Um, Pampered Chef actually has a lot of these um, ideas on um, on Consultant's Corner. You can find um, on the Showstoppers on. Um, I believe it's okay. I'm gonna have to think. I'm gonna show you guys. Let's flip over to that page right here and I will show you where you can find it. Okay. If you're on Consultants Corner, you want to go to the full site. Okay. And then when you go to my shows and then you go to show talk. Okay. This gives you seasonal recipe ideas. Um, so if you look over here, you can see tricked out trees and it will show you all of these great ideas that you can share these make great tips or great posts um, social media posts that you can do or just ideas that you can share um, game day okay look at all these game day ideas that you can be sharing this is a great resource to share on your social media pages or on your um, or you know just make them yourselves and share or you can share them in your parties okay so that's under my shows and then show talk. Okay, so um, getting people excited um, will, getting people excited about that. And then the fall winter resource page that's on um, uh, Consultants Corner as well, we should go to training resources, the fall winter resource guide right here. That will be updated um, later in October to include some of these um, holiday themes and recipes and things like that, okay? so for baking and gifts and things. Woo! I think I lost my place here. All right, on my web page. All right, so, sorry, for you in October, okay? So there's so many rewards for Pamper Chef business in October. Consultants can earn um, the new product, the new product, so step one, Hold and submit $500 in commissionable sales between October 1st and the 15th, and you'll earn those metal straws. Step two, go on to earning two New Year products when you submit a total of $750 in commissionable sales. All right, how cool is that? And then new products 
It says new products revealed November 30th, okay? So we love getting new products. We love getting them for free. This is how you do it, okay? So if you have questions, make sure you let me know, okay? Okay, if you guys hear noise in the background, my husband just got home, and I'm not gonna tell him to be quiet because he bought like four fans and two air conditioners. <laughs> So um, we're about to get some cooling going on here, um, at least in the bedrooms, okay? So um, right now we're wrapping up our incentive trip earning period as we head into the third quarter of the year. But also, you know, maybe you're not in track to earn a trip this year. If, you're, if you want to bust it and you want to earn a trip, just let me know. I'll help you get there and cheer you on. But what I really want to do is I want to tell you guys, this is the time to start thinking about how you're going to set your business up for amazing success so that next year you're in that trip to Disney. Okay, um, the Disney trip is so interesting because whenever it comes out, people get really excited um, and they want to earn it and they will do all kinds of amazing things and build, um, build that uh, business, okay? And so now's the time to start work doing that. Mark your calendars for December 3rd and we'll learn all about it and we'll learn all the strategies in order to earn that trip. All right. So <clears throat> let's see, we're at the third thing, which is recruiting, okay? Oops, I went ahead too far. So sharing this business with others is what it's all about. And I am so glad that my recruiter, her name was Christina, okay? And I'm so glad that Christina, actually, I have a really interesting story. Christina is actually not the one, she signed the paper, but she's not the one that recruited me. Um, shared this business with me for so many reasons. I was actually chasing a recruiter. I was like, somebody, anybody, please sign me up. But I'm so glad that I found out about this business. It's so rewarding to know that when we share this business with others, that we are impacting lives every single time. So who do you know that wants more money for fun? How about somebody who wants to support their household budget? Who has a really big financial goal? I saw a post on Facebook today and um, somebody, it, I can't remember what it was, was, you know, I can't remember what the question was, but so many people were posting to be debt free in 2019. Um, I want to make this happen. I want to pay off my student loans. And the post wasn't even about that, you know, but that's what people are thinking about. Okay. Um, who has a big financial goal and who is looking for a full-time role with flexibility, okay? So we really do have a story that's worth telling and I love it that I can sum it up in three words, all right? Love or learn, love, share. So we learn about what makes Pampered Chef and this season's products and recipes special and different and we've done that all night tonight. We fall in love with the products by using them. Um, we fall in love with the solutions. We figure out how to sell them, how to recruit, or your journey, your story, um, your business, and your future. Okay, so you're going to fall in love with all those things. Okay, let me say that again because I said it weird. So we fall in love with all the products, fall in love with the solutions. We fall in love with how to sell them. Um, how We fall in love with how to recruit and your journey. You fall in love with your story, your business, and your future. Okay, and then the last one is share. So we share everything that we learn and that we love with our family and our friends and our communities. And that's what makes it a story we're sharing. So who's ready to impact lives this month? It's so funny, my phone has just been going off nonstop tonight, so. Okay, so we're gonna impact lives this month. Um, so this month is a great month, and this month is September. It's a great month to share the business. Um, we have our specially priced kit that's $29. So we have three kits still available, $29, $159, and $249, okay? But anybody can start this business for the price of five lattes, okay? Five lattes. You give up five lattes, and you've got the money for this business. You have six days left to share this business with somebody who really could use some extra money this month, and they can get in as low as $29. Next idea we have, next month we have no idea what the promotion will be, and this month was such a surprise, so you never know. Um, the best time to start a business is right now. If you have somebody in mind that you're thinking of, then make sure you that we talk about it, okay? You tell me and we have a conversation about it, okay? So the, sharing this business with others has so many rewards. Some of the heartfelt and knowing you are some of the heartfelt and knowing you are impacting someone's life, and others are financial rewards and recognition for you. Um, someone shared this business with you and think about how it's impacted your life or the potential that it has to impact your life if you're brand new. 
Who do you know that could use a benefit like that? Take a moment and think of one person whose life would be positive, positively impacted by having a Pampered Chef business and write their name down. I'm going to give you a, few, a couple of seconds to do that. Who do you know who could be positively impacted? And I want you to write their name down. Okay. Next, I challenge you to contact them this week. Okay. Offer the business to them. You might say something like, Susie, I was thinking about how much fun I'm having with my new business or my new products. And you kept coming to mind. I know you would love this business because... You love to cook because I know you have a big financial goal because you love to be around people, whatever, because this month, did you know that you could get started for as low as $29? What do you think? Okay, so just so simple. And you're thinking about that person. It's coming from the heart. It's not spammy. It's not awkward. It's not weird. You're thinking about that person. Okay. So that's your challenge. All right, so let's learn together. So remember we talked about how we want to learn how to book parties, um, or we want to learn, and we want to love, and we want to share. So we're going to talk about sharing, okay? Um, because I just invited you guys to share. And so um, sharing this business means sharing your story. And um, this is this activity is designed to. The, the, I had a couple. Of, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had a couple of choices of activities to share with you guys. And the first one was about getting past hosts book. And frankly, our team is really new. Okay, we don't have a lot of past hosts. I've been talking with all of you guys about how to book your initial parties. So we've covered that, right? Okay, we know how to book parties. If you're struggling with booking parties, let's schedule a time when we can talk and we'll talk about how to book a party, how to get that next party on the schedule for you, on your calendar, who to talk to. We'll talk about that, okay? But the training that they provided, it really wasn't applicable to you guys. And so the other, the other one was um, to talk about the themes. And I kind of felt like, hey, we've already talked about the themes. Um, if you haven't taken the experience training classes, I encourage you to go ahead and take them. You can take the in-person party experience and the virtual party experience training. And when you take those two trainings, it's going to open up, it's going to unlock all your virtual party outlines, all your virtual party. You already have the in-party um, outlines and, and party packs available, um, but it's going to open up all the virtual party ones as well. And frankly, there's a lot more resources in the virtual party ones that you can use, not just in your virtual parties, but in other places as well. Okay. I use them on my social media posts a lot. Okay. So, so then I was looking at this and I thought, you know what, let's just talk about share because um, I know that people consultants get really hung up when you think about sharing your business and you think about recruiting or you think about and you feel like oh, I don't want to be pushy I don't want to be that person I see those people on Facebook um, and the thing the thing that I want you to remember is that the easiest most natural way to share your business is to share your story and so that's why I want to talk about that because we all have a story that's worth telling we all started this business for one reason or another, and they're all different, okay? And sometimes if you've been in the business a little bit, you've gone through some things, the reason you started might not be the reason that you're still around, okay? It's been 20 years for me. Believe me, my reason has changed. Well, partly, because um, the, one of the reasons I got started was because I like the products, and I'm not going to lie. When I get products or logo items, I get kind of excited, <laughs> Still to this day, okay? Um, so first of all, I want you to think about what Pampered Chef means to you. This doesn't have to be a life-changing reason, okay? This, it can be something as simple as making some extra spending money or just enjoying being part of a team. I mean, there's a lot to be said for that. So what is it that makes you happy in your Pampered Chef business? When you think about your Pampered Chef, do you, do you like to do, do you like to see, you know, other people's accomplishments or see what's going on on the Facebook page? Do you like to be a part of something? Or, you know, are you, are you getting some extra money and that's making a big difference to you or a little difference to you? Um, you just want to keep it simple. One moment, one reason, one situation when Pampered Chef impacted your life, okay? So what we're going to do is I want you, we're not going to do this as an activity, okay? All of you guys have probably seen the video that Pampered Chef um, 
used some of my footage to share. If you haven't seen it, you can go to my business page. It's at the very top. Okay. So in that whole campaign, Camper Chef put together a whole bunch of videos that resonate with all kinds of different people. And so if you go, and we'll do it right now. If you go to the Pamper Chef page, okay, I'm going to show you how to get there. You go to home, you click over here to marketing images, scroll down to you go to videos. Okay, and there's a whole bunch of videos. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take and we're going to do um, recruiting. I just typed in recruit. Okay, and this shows all of the different recruiting videos that are out there. Look at these videos, okay? Um, so you've got one that's a Mother's Day testimonial, um, meal time. This one is, uh, actually, Kelly used to be a teacher, okay? Um, Italian harvester. This is my friend right here. This is my friend, Amira, okay? She's my friend, my best, one of my bestie friends, um, one of my sister directors. Um, this talks about the incentive trip. But anyway, there's a bunch of different testimonials in here. So if we get this out, I think that we get, see, see, let me change this number right here. I can, uh, B8, UG, DVPE. Let's see. Ah, oh, there it is right there. Okay, so here's all the recruiting videos. Okay, there we are without any of the garbage. Okay, so um, on here, you can kind of check and see. We've got, um, we've got all these different videos. You can just watch them. They're all about a minute each. We've got a military spouse one. Um, this is the one that I'm in, the help pay for college. We've got recruiting ones. Um, this one is about helping to, um, helping to uh, create, buy a play set for their kids, um, learning how to cook, um, at paying for a wedding, all different kinds of one. So you can watch this video and find one that speaks to you, okay? Um, once, you have, once you have one picked, I want you to think about why that video resonates with you. Um, what is one simple moment that Pampered Chef impacted your life, okay? Um, what's one simple moment that, that Pampered Chef impacted your life? And then share a bit of your story. Okay, you want to share a short post that tells your story, share the video that touches you and then share the story. Okay. Um, and then you can also include a little bit of information about the monthly offer and, and make that personal. That's going to make your post personal. It's not going to make it spammy, but it's going to make it personal. You're going to talk about your seat yourself. Okay. That one moment, that one reason or situation in life that was impacted by Pampered Chef. Maybe you have more confidence because you became a Pampered Chef consultant. Maybe you have hope. Can you imagine? Some people don't have hope. And so maybe you have hope, hope to pay off your debt, hope to um, change your life. So, um, and then include the current information. Okay, so that's it. That's pretty simple. And that's what I want to finish with. Um, sharing your story with others is something that you have the ability to change your life. If you're nervous about your post, share it on our team page and let us help you craft the words. Share it with me. I'd be love to help you um, craft those words. But being passionate and talking about from the heart what don't copy and paste somebody else's words. Use your own words. Talk about from the heart what, what's the one thing. And like I said, it doesn't have to be life altering. It doesn't have to be, you know, we paid $5 million in debt down in six months. That's, you know, that's insane and amazing at the same time. But you, you want, it can just be something little. It doesn't have to be something big. Um, and it was interesting as we were doing the videos and they were asking us the questions. I mean, they were asking us these questions. But actually, we, the whole room got choked up and, I, and I'm, I'm waiting for the shoe to drop when they post that video where we all got choked up. But, um, but I love the fact that when I share this opportunity with people, they can buy a new car. They can um, pay down their debt. They can go on trips. And, and, and that's what excites me. 
And when somebody shares with me what their goal is and what they want to do with their income, um, I get really excited for them. And so um, when I meet people and they have are struggling, I want to reach out and help them. And, and so honestly, um, in this business, um, I, I, do what I do because I like to help people. I like to help people. I like to help you guys on my team. I like to help people who are at my shows. I, I really like, I love it when I have a bunch of young moms at my shows and maybe they're working and they're talking about how they never make dinner. It just makes me so sad. And so I love that I can give them some ideas to get dinner on their table that can actually really impact their family. And that actually makes my heart want to explode. So think about the thing. Um, think about something that maybe makes you feel that way. And um, I, I do love the fact that this pays my bills. And uh, I think this summer I really had to start thinking about, you know, what our life is so different and we actually still have a little bit of uncertainty in our life. I thought when we got here to Florida that it was all going to be good and we weren't going to have any uncertainty. We still have uncertainty in our life. Darn it. <laughs> so. It's, you know, so I really had to reevaluate, like, what was I doing and where was I coming from? And so, um, and I watched a little bit too much soccer this summer. I'm not going to lie. I let the TV get in the way of me doing what I needed to do. So, um, so I've really come to this new place um, since this conference and um, I'm really pretty passionate about it. So um, share your story. Uh, get that and tell people what, what makes you tick. Um, does, it's not weird or anything like that. So um, we have one week to really make a difference. I mean, we have, there's no limit to time to make a difference. We have one week, week left with that really cool $29 kit. I'm just, I, it's just the coolest thing. And, um, and Bev bought the $29 kit and her story is great. And I can't wait till we get to share that story um, with you guys on the page. So um, I, I just think, I just think it's great. And I look forward to it. All right. So this is just kind of some introspection for the end of the night, and we're at an hour and 15 minutes. I've talked your brains out, and I'm sweating, and my hair's starting to get really curly, and so it is time to wrap it up. <laughs> um, so I hope that you have the skills and support you need to achieve your goals, and I want you to set a goal for how many parties you will personally book in October, okay, and how many of those are going to be before the 15th? Um, I will personally submit more than how much in personal sales in the month of October. And I will personally make how many people's every day better in October when I share the opportunity. So go ahead and take a minute and write down your goals for the month. You can share them with me. You can share them on our team page um, so that we can cheer, cheer you along. If you're a new consultant and you're a little bit nervous to share them on the page with all the veterans, share them on the new consultant page. Um, we want to cheer you along. That's our goal here. So, all right, guys. I hope that you have a fantastic, I'm gonna stop my share. Um, I hope that you have a fantastic um, October. A uh, fantastic rest of the September. Please call me. Please text me. Please Facebook message me um, with your questions. We want to wrap up this month. We want it to be really strong. We're actually, I can't wait till tomorrow. I promise when I get the numbers, I will update you guys and let you know where we are in accordance with our goals. Um, and so we can push like little, um, little choo-choo trains on to the end of the month. All right, you guys, have a fantastic month. I'm going to turn off all the lights in this room, and we're going to go veg out and hopefully get our chill on in the other room. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. I feel so gross. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great night, and I will see you on Facebook tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tip Tuesday, so I will hopefully have a really good tip to share with y'all. I think I have one. I think I have it all written down, but I can't think of anything right now. <laughs> have a great night.